99% of people are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. You know, so, something as simple as food and eating, it, it's not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. Every day, we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest. Right, so if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're gonna kick yourself in the balls, then you're gonna stop yourself from getting what you dream. Self discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. I believe that self-discipline is the definition of self-love. That when you say that you love yourself, that means that you have behavior towards yourself that is loving. It's like you say to yourself, hey man, look, I know you want to eat that pizza and it'll be really good, you know, but I can't let you eat that, man. That pizza, you don't feel like shit. I love you too much to let you eat that. And I think the word discipline has kind of gotten a bad name. We think about it in terms of punishment. I'm not, I'm not talking about discipline in that way. I'm talking about discipline in the sense that you, you forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. Self-love is Hey, look, I know you got a, a, a test on Monday, you know, and I know you really want to go out with your friends on Saturday night, you want to go out, but if you fail that test, you're not going to feel good about yourself, you know, I just, I love you too much to let you go out tonight. Self-discipline is self-love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself which means you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior. The concept of improving lives runs through the center of everything I do. And then I realize that the, the, the way to improve lives is to continually improve yourself. Fail early, fail often, fail forward. You know, it's always a little bit frustrating to me when, when people have a negative relationship with failure. Failure is a massive part of being able to be successful. You have to get comfortable with failure. You have, you have to actually seek failure. Failure is where all of the lessons are. You know, when you go to the gym and you work out, you're actually seeking failure. You want to take your muscles to the point where you get to failure because that's where the, the adaptation is. That's where growth is. Successful people fail a lot. They fail a whole lot more than they succeed, but they extract the lessons from the failure and they use that, the, the energy and they use the wisdom to come around to the next phase of success. You've got to take a shot. You have to live at the edge of your capabilities. You got to live where you're almost certain you're going to fail. That's the reason for practice. Practice is controlled failure. You're getting to your limit, getting to your limit, getting to your limit. You can't lift that. You can't do that You until you get to the point that all of a sudden your body makes the adjustment and then you can do it. Failure actually helps you to recognize the areas where you need to evolve. So fail early, fail often, fail forward.